Hey folks, Mike Iaconelli here for Tackle Warehouse, day two on Clear Lake. We're gonna film a bunch more tackle videos today and try to catch one of those giant Clear Lake bass. Come on, let's go. Oh, that's a giant, oh my gosh. I, I can't even, I can't even reel this thing in. And I lost the bait. That's not worth it to lose it to one of them. That was a bad trade-off. I don't see it yet. You go back where we left off from yesterday man day two clear lake started out this morning fishing some bigger reaction baits one getting bit got right back to the shallows put on that little two aught vmc hook grabbed another bag of that new berkeley havoc backslide dual density bait gliding backwards I don't know, 10 minutes after I picked up that rod, first good one of the day, man. It's hard to beat it. When you know something's working, you come back out, pick up that same thing, and just, just start catching them again. That's a good one. It's a good clear leg bass. I'd like to catch one on the frog today. I just watched them yesterday. I like to catch them today. Like, there he goes. Golly. Sorry about that. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was fun. That's one of those deals when you're fishing and you look at something and you look at that bank and it's got dead grass blown into cattails and you just you just say there's got to be one there that's a perfect place to fish a frog man that's that's a really cool frog this is the same frog jared was throwing yesterday it's a snag proof this is a a frog designed by a good buddy of mine ish monroe nice little black frog Good bass, ate it good. Fishing it on 65 pound spider wire, man. When you're frog fishing, don't fish anything else but braid. And then the rod is, is pretty key too, you know? A lot of guys think you need a big, heavy rod, heavy action rod. When you're frog fishing, you actually want some tip to the rod. And this is, this is a, a, an Abu Garcia rod, this is a villain. And it's a 7-1 medium heavy. The nice thing about the medium heavy and this little bit shorter rod is you could really twitch your rod tip and, and that softness lets you walk that bait. And that's a key motion when you're frog fishing. And then of course the reel, the Abu Garcia Revo in a really fast gear ratio. You know, you want a seven to one or even an eight to one. So fast ratio, heavy line, frog fishing, phew, doesn't get any better, man. Got him! Oh, it's a good one too. Oh, God! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Got you, sucker! Over the next two or three weeks, we're going to be posting videos of how we're catching these fish and of all this stuff in action. Go to the Tackle Warehouse Facebook page, go to my Facebook page, guess the value of this stuff, and all this gear could be yours.